The head of the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League is stepping down, and the move comes after allegations of hazing and harassment in the league, which prompted hearings in the Quebec National Assembly. The CBC's Natalie Collada has the latest. Well, Gilles Courteau announced his resignation on Sunday. It was rather abrupt, saying, though, it was time for him to pass the torch to someone else. In a letter published on social media, Courteau said that the recent events have been such on such a scale that my members, my family members have been affected. He continued to add that really staying in it would not be the right thing to do as of right now. Courteau, we know, has been facing intense political pressure following his testimony at a legislative hearing on hazing in hockey, including details of sexual assault and torture allegations suffered by teenage hockey players, the Ontario Hockey League, the Western Hockey League, as well as in the Quebec League, dating back to 1975. Now, last month, Courteau tried to reassure politicians, saying none of these allegations described in a Radio Canada report about the Ontario Superior Court ruling involved the league. However, a former QMJHL player had uh, made his uh, testimony, including his experience with sexual misconduct. So Courteau was sort of under pressure for to testify a second time, opposition members accusing him of perjuring himself. And then on Friday, Premier Francois Legault weighing in, saying he wanted Courteau to recognize that this was an issue and preferred to hear it before the committee. Now, we know late last year, Courteau had planned to announce that he would retire partway through the 2023-24 season. This early on, though, wasn't anticipated. We know that a reaction has been coming in from his resignation. Some individuals not completely surprised by the fact that Corto gave into pressure, given how much he was facing going into the week. We know, though, with pressure mounting, uh, some experts are saying it's not only time to examine the culture around hazing in hockey, but hazing across all sports in Canada. Have a listen. The hockey world will have to look at itself in the mirror and build and just try to break that culture, that toxic culture. And it's just, it's not just hockey. And I, I keep on repeating it. And we have to understand that these issues happen in every sport. The problem with hockey is that it's the most powerful sport in Canada, the most popular sport. It has to set an example for other sports, but it also has to clean its, uh, its culture as well. So that is just some of the reaction coming in to his resignation. Natalie Collada, CBC News, Toronto.